Hi, good afternoon everybody. It's Fred Anderson here, take three. <laughs> it's my third time going through this. Anyway, I wanted to take a few minutes here and explain to you what Awaken the Spirit is about and why we've developed Awaken the Spirit and why now. Um, I believe that we're in changing times. Uh, our communities are going through major changes right now. The, I've learned that there's more changes that have happened in the past 10 years than the history of man. And with technology and especially the new iPhones, we can reach out to people anywhere in the world instantaneously. And that's what I love about what we're doing. But what is the cost that we have to pay? Um, there, are, I wanted to bring out Awakening Spirit because I tell people that everything that you have in your life at this moment, everything you've accumulated, when you go into your home and you look around, everything that you have, you've, you've attracted by the person you become. And if you have nothing and everything that you have is stored in a shopping cart, that tells me something. If I go into your home and there is nothing there and you live in a one bedroom place and everything that you own is in that bedroom, that tells me something. Um, it can become a sickness too. Some people have so much stuff that they don't want to let go of that, you know, it can become a sickness. What we have done is we developed a program that implements humor that has a healthy balance of humor. So I don't want people to come to the workshops and leave and say, well, geez, I didn't know I was that bad. <laughs> I don't want you to leave the workshop and say, geez, am I ever messed up? I want you to say, wow, I, don't, I didn't know I had that much. And I tell our couples especially, don't leave and use this information as a weapon and go home and say, geez, I love that workshop, honey, so get out. <laughs> I want you to learn that, you know, relationships, either you're living together or you're dying together. There's a big difference, right? We, we, I really wanna live. I wanna have a relationship where I know that my partner has my back. I know that my partner, there's an old saying that says, uh, I'll take care of you if you'll take care of me. I've learned that that's short-lived, doesn't work. This is a better way. I'll take care of me for you if you'll take care of you for me. That's a better way to look at it to invest in yourself, to, you know, our communities right now. I, I go into many communities. The first thing that, that maybe a coordinator will say, oh, I don't know if I'll have that many people. Maybe I'll have five, maybe ten. I said, that's okay. That's okay. That's five people. And I'll give as much energy with five people as I do with 500 people. See, um, that's the important thing is that I come there with a message to tell them that your life never has to be the same again. It doesn't. I tell them that a, a, a tree is always going to be a tree. But how big will a tree grow? As big as it can. How strong will a bear become? As strong as it can. See, how far will an eagle go? As far as it can. Human beings were the only species that the Creator has made on this planet that will give up on themselves, that will say, I don't want to live anymore, that will say, forget it, I quit. We're the only ones. An ant will work as hard as they can to build a home for the queen. You see, they will not stop until they get there. And that's the same kind of mentality that we try to instill in our people that come into our workshops that wherever you are, it doesn't have to be that way. The reason why they make those first grade desks so small is so that they don't fit at age 25. <laughs> and the other thing is, I tell people that some people die at 21, but they don't get buried till 65. And that's sad. Some people are walking dead. You ask them, what are you doing tomorrow? I don't know. What are you doing? You know, you can always get more money, but you cannot get more time. I'm 51. I never thought I would ever make it to 51. I used to always tell people, I'm going to die. I'm going to die doing this stuff. I'm an addict today. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an alcoholic. I don't touch those things. I don't, I don't say it like I own it. I suffer from the disease of alcoholism and drug addiction, but I don't touch it. And it's not me today. I always tell people that the doctor may give you uh, uh, something, an illness that he says about yourself. They give you the diagnosis, but it's not the way it is. I was told over a year ago, Fred, you, you've got, at the time, symptoms of Parkinson's. 
My hand was starting to, to shake. My hand would shake like this. And I said, I don't have it. I don't have it today. My hands are steady today. You know what? The past couple months, I've been painting again because I stopped saying that I have it. I don't have it. People say, oh, heart problems. It's in my family. Only a matter of time before I get it. No, it doesn't. Don't say it. Because when you say it, it creates that body reaction and it becomes your reality. Everything that you have at this moment, you've attracted by the person you become, including your relationships. And if you don't change, even if your relationship breaks up, you'll attract the same kind of person you did the last time. They'll even dress the same. They'll even wear the same kind of jackets. They'll even have the same kind of hair because you haven't changed. I mean, how many of you ever seen somebody, say it's a close friend, and they get involved with somebody and you go up to her and you say, what are you doing? What the heck are you doing with him? You can get so much better. What's wrong with you? Or you'll see a guy and he's with a lady that, every, you know, the family goes, why is he with her? He can get so much better because that's where they're at at that time in their life. That's where they are. And how many of you ever broke up with somebody and you, and you figure that, you play only, you know, instead of getting over the pain right away, I always tell people that human beings, for some reason, we like to suffer. You play an old song that only you two used to listen to, you know, take the ribbons from your hair <laughs> and, and you wallow in your pain and you see them 10 years later and you go, Ugh, can't believe I was with her. <laughs> I can't believe I was with him. But at that time, that's where you were. Okay, we've changed. There's nothing permanent in life but change. That's what Awaken the Spirit does. It teaches us about change and how to make that change happen in a good way, in a positive way, and own it because you were born with it. You know, when you start walking, you know, you ever see kids when they try and get up and they, I got video of all of my kids, their first few steps, their first smiles. Can you imagine if they got up and they tried to walk and they fell down? They say, ah, forget it. I'm never going to try again. I always tell our participants, we'd all crawl to the workshops <laughs> because we would never try again, but they get up and they do it again and again and again until they learn. You see, that you were born with it. And that's something the Creator has given you. Every one of us have gifts. The gifts that the Creator gave us is the Creator's gift to us. And what you do with them is your gift to the Creator and to man. I have the gift of speech. I have the gift to share. I can do I can do 10 days, 14 days of workshops by myself because I made this a study. I worked on it very, very hard. I've seen other people that can do what I can do, but you know what? They give up too easily. I tell them, go and get a book, start writing down quotes, apply those quotes to your life because if you don't live it, you don't believe it. Your feet have to match your mouth. See, and I've seen them do it, and I say, so where's your book? Oh, uh, geez, I left it over here. Oh, okay. I see him again. So how's this book coming? Along? Oh, it's half full. I haven't even got it. You should see what I'm doing. But I know in my mind they're not telling me the truth. I know that they're not ready yet. What I do is a gift, and communities, when they call me in, I always tell them my workshop in a sentence is always do more than what you get paid for. Always do more than what you get paid for. I don't want people to come to my workshop and say, well, geez, you should have seen Fred 10 years ago when he was really good. <laughs> I want you to say, wow, that guy's gotten so much better because he works on his craft. I love what I do. I love it. And the people pick up on that, right? That's what awaken the spirit is about. Awaking the spirit within. Like I said, some people die at 21, don't get paid, buried till 65 because they become a part of the walking dead. I don't want you to live your life like that. Don't waste your time here. You can always get more money. You can't get more time. You can't. I'm 51 today. I have no regrets. I can't wait till I'm 60. I can't wait till I'm 75. Some people say, oh geez, I hope I never make it to 60. I'm so old. I'm not old. I'm just starting to live. I'm just starting to learn what joy is all about. I always tell people when you laugh, you trigger off that chemical in your brain called endorphins. What is endorphins? Morphine within. That's what it means. 
and we don't trigger off that chemical in your brain, we try to find it out here in other ways. I always tell people you have to take something, you have to inject something, you have to smoke something, you have to drink something to be happy. There's something wrong. I don't need any of that today. My kids have never seen it. They've never seen drugs or alcohol or violence in the home, not one time. I don't, I don't want it. I've made mistakes in the past with my older children, but you know what? Amends is powerful. I want to share with you, if you will change, everything will change for you. And I wanted to bring a program out there. It's not our intention to, um, you know, to, to please people. It's our intention to amaze you with our caliber of workshops. We can do three, five to 10 day workshops. I get invited as a keynote speaker to conventions all over. I always tell them, don't put me at the beginning of the day. Put me at the end of the day because I know the energy is just gonna let people leave with something to remember and they go, wow, you know why? I've worked very hard at making my days great. Not good, great. You change the way you thinketh, you change the way you iseth. <laughs> So I look forward to maybe one day meeting you in your community. Maybe you can invite in Awaken the Spirit, www.awakenthespirit.ca and have a look at what we've got to offer. We've got tons to offer. See, and, and that that's one of the things, you know that success and joy is intentional. So is failure. It's by choice. You are where you are right at this moment only by choice and you can change it starting right now if you wanted to you don't ever have to be the same and i've never been the same i'm a dope fiend i'm an alcoholic i'm a drug addict but you know what i don't i'm not that person today i'm contributing back to society today i feel fulfilled today i can create light with words i can make people go wow i see whereas one time i created darkness with my words See, at one time, I, we're the only species that the Creator has made that will give up, give up on themselves. Don't give up. Remember that we're all spirit having a human experience, and we're all here to walk each other home. I look forward to meeting you, like I said. We have events coming up in the future. See, you got to be committed. If you're not committed, you know what? Change will never happen. It'll only be a wish. Thank you for listening. We're all spirit having a human experience and we're all here to walk each other home, even if it's for three or five days. I look forward to meeting you. Have a really good day and try this. Every day, tell yourself, only good things are supposed to happen to me. They're happening right now as I speak. I say that every day and you know what? Great things happen, not good things. Like this, I got a paid day and you kill it. I don't have to work today, it's paid. And I get to go out and be a tourist. That's a gift from the Creator. That's a blessing. Thank you so much for, li for listening. And I hope that this maybe sets off a spark in your mind. You don't ever have to be the same today, starting right now. Thank you for listening. Awakenthespirit.ca